last time on Total Drama Random Island. Like all species, the campers decided to fit themselves into cliques, each of them having their own alliance. Lorenzo tried to get B and Elodie into the alliance, but he would have been better off not saying anything at all. Owen almost got the team eaten by a bear, if not for Ella, and Tammy proved that magic wasn't real, getting her eliminated. Jock asks how Spud is doing and he says that he's not doing well. It's like he got his heart ripped out. Jock says that he knows who got her out, and Spud asks who, and Jock says it was Amy. Spud in confessional says that he knew he shouldn't have joined her. Duncan asks Jock if they have the next elimination covered, and Jock says that it definitely is. Duncan in confessional says that he still doesn't know if he can trust Jock yet, but for now he will keep quiet and hope he doesn't get betrayed. Amy asks Taylor what they can do here, and Taylor says that they should put the other alliance against themselves. It would just make sense to pit Jock and Duncan against each other by making up a few lies. Amy Sammy and Confessional says that it's do or die time now that Pete flipped on them. Kitty asks Sammy how she's holding up and Sammy says she's doing fine. Kitty then says that she knows the abuse Amy and Taylor do to her, Amy will be gone soon. Sammy and Confessional says that that would be a dream come true. Pete and Dwayne are just laughing at each other's dad jokes. On Screaming Gophers, Lorenzo goes to Elodie and he says that he's sorry for what he said to B, but Elodie says that she's not the one to apologize to. Lorenzo goes to B and says that he's sorry. He was shocked at first, but his differences make him unique and he just hopes that B can forgive him. B gives a signal of appreciation and in confessional Lorenzo says that he did what he had to. B's still weird. Ella asks Justin if he's ever thought about dating anyone and Justin says not really. Dating someone while you're young as a model is a death sentence to the career most times. This disappoints Ella, but Justin says that there's also a chance it has the adverse effect though if he picks the right girl. Ella in confessional says that this fairy tale may still be possible. Owen and Millie are talking, and Millie says that for a week's worth of food from the cafeteria from both her and Lorenzo, Owen will vote for Justin at the next vote, and Owen agrees. Chris calls them to their next challenge. Today's challenge is a simple one, but it will push you all to your limits. You will have to face your deepest fear. Millie asks how they obtain them, and Chris says that when they do background checks, they go all the way. Pete in confessional says that he can't do his fear. His fear is to have to admit he's old. First things first, would DJ like some jello? The jello is brought to DJ and he throws it, thinking that a snake was inside, but it was really just a gummy worm. Now, let's enjoy ourselves. Owen is tasked with flying in an airplane and goes into it for the ride of his life. Spud is tasked to listen to smooth jazz for a whole day instead of rock music and he seems really bummed about it. Lorenzo's fear is to face a giant enemy spider. He immediately fails. Amy's fear is to let Sammy take the credit for something she did, and as Sammy is getting her reward, Amy stands up and says that that's her reward, not for a failure like Sammy. Sammy's fear challenge was to stand up to Amy. After a bit of hesitation, Pete yells to tell the blondie what for, and Sammy tells Amy off for being a terrible sister, terrible teammate, and being a terrible person. Amy doesn't fake cry here since nobody likes her, and instead says that that's rich coming from the spare Amy. Duncan says that that was cold. Sammy in confessional says that even though she scored a point, she feels like she lost. Elodie's fear is to mess up in front of a huge crowd, and she has to finish the equation 2 plus 2 equals incorrectly. Elodie looks at B and writes the wrong answer, giving the screaming gophers another point. B's fear is to talk to people, and he immediately doesn't do it. Jock's fear is to get in third place in the Olympics, and he immediately refuses to do it, saying he only likes gold. Millie's fear is to reveal what's in her notebook, and she refuses immediately. Justin in confessional says that he wants to read the notebook even more now. Justin's challenge is the same as Kitty, Taylor, and Pete, to grow too old to do anything but sit and think about your past glory. Justin, Kitty, and Taylor all run out almost immediately, but Pete actually reflects on the fact that he is getting older, and eventually comes to terms with the fact that even though he's old, he just will enjoy the time he has left and do the best he can. Dwayne's fear is to die before he can see his son grow up, and he is placed into a coffin before thinking about his son more and saying he can't do it. DJ is able to handle the snake. Ella's challenge is to reveal who she loves, and Ella says that it is a bit soon, but she has a particular likeness for Justin. Justin is shocked and says that he'd rather talk about this another time before leaving. Duncan is scared of the Celine Dion cardboard standee, but Kitty hypes Duncan up enough to hug it. At the end of the day, Spud has been rocking out 
to smooth jazz and in confessionals, Bud says that jazz is like a lighter rock and roll. He likes it. Owen comes back from his plane adventure. Pete says that it's tied, so they need a tiebreaker round, but Chris says that in technicality, the percentage completed for Screaming Gophers was higher than the completion for Killer Bass. So due to technicality, Screaming Gophers win immunity. Amy goes to Duncan and says that she heard from Jock he's gonna betray him. Duncan is shocked and in confessional says that he knew it. He knew Jock couldn't be trusted, that bastard. Dwayne notices Duncan's anger and goes to talk to him. At elimination, Chris says that they really need to pick it back up. They're the team he's betting will have more members by merging against Chef. With that being said, same routine as the first two. Marshmallow safe, none, done. People safe are... Kitty, Pete, Taylor, Spud, Sammy, Dwayne, Jock, and the final marshmallow goes to... Duncan. Amy is shocked and tries to say something in retaliation, but Sammy says it's about time the older model goes home. Amy yells that this isn't the last they've seen of her as she's taken away. Duncan in confessional says that if this was him on his first day, he would have wrung Jock's neck out. But Dwayne was able to calm him down enough to ask Sammy about it, since he knew Sammy wouldn't lie. Turned out what Amy said was a lie. Go figure. And that's that for episode 6 of Total Drama Random Island. What did you think? Question of the week. The idol has been found, but the question is who found it and who will be voted out as a result. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.